This exhibition is about a manifestation of that trauma into an endless cycle of violence, where children grow up knowing only the language of missiles, shrapnel. Child of War is an exhibition created with children. It is for children and it is about children in conflict. The children of today who stand on the world's most violent and brutal front lines. So this exhibition is my attempt to give those children a voice, to try and imagine what war looks like through their own eyes, to see it from their perspective. If I take you on a journey, my paintings are a dialogue with that of children. I have collated a whole hundreds of images sent to me by children, artworks and words that express what they have been through from Ukraine largely, but also from Syria, from Afghanistan, from Britain. Each one requires engagement and the imagination to perhaps go to where that child has been. This is my painting that is a direct response to the artworks of the children. This is a girl who stands in the middle of a fallen city. It's dark, it's terrifying, the walls close in on her. She's alone, abandoned, and yet she holds a lamp up. It's about the courage that a child has, the innate dignity and the sense of hope that keeps them going. This is at the heart of the exhibition. All of these artifacts, I found them in a bombed out school in Hostomel in Ukraine. Pairs or individual shoes that the Russians has used as ashtrays, stubbing their cigarettes out in. Christmas decorations under the dust and under the rubble. The shoes are installed around a shattered globe, a broken world. The wallpaper spoke to me so powerfully about the juxtaposition between the innocence and then the terrible horror of, of burning and fire. One of the most moving things that I found in this school was a clock that had fallen off the wall, the glass had shattered, and time had stopped forever. This painting is one of the hardest paintings that I've found to execute because it quotes the letter of a nine-year-old girl to her dead mother. The girl and her mother were trying to escape and they were apprehended by Russian soldiers and her mother was shot dead in front of her. Come and see these works for yourselves. They are incredibly powerful. I won't say that of my own work, but I would say that of the children's and the artifacts from the school. There's a visceral quality that I really hope will talk to your heart. One of the things I've learned in those years is that the nature of warfare has changed so that the casualties are predominantly civilian, not military, and among the people most at risk are the most innocent, are the children of the world who have never been more vulnerable, and this is why I welcome an exhibition like this, although it's actually unique, which bears witness to the plight of children in warfare. The Bishop of the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of the Holy Family of London. I want to welcome you and thank you for coming out this evening. Um, you'll be able to tell all of your friends about this exhibit, which is going to be uh, ongoing until uh, at least June 6th, open from 10 till 5 p.m. every evening. I really want to express my appreciation to um, Arabella, our artist, uh, who has curated and painted these things. Uh, with the help of uh, Namina uh, Edna from Beyond Conflict, who has been a great partner of us and not a stranger to our cathedral or our community at all. And also we're very glad to welcome uh, Christina Lambo as uh, our dear friend Martin Bell. We're here today because we're seeing a normalization of the targeting of children in wars around the world. We're seeing it in Gaza, Ukraine, we've seen it in Sri Lanka, Iraq, many more places. And we really feel at Beyond Conflict that, and also Arabella and I think the Cathedral and Andre, that this is robbing a whole generation of their childhood 
and their future. And we do feel that every time there's an attack on a child anywhere in the world, it's a, an attack on the world's future. Kids growing up who've only ever known war, leading to mental health issues and trauma. Uh, the UN says one in five children living in war zones has some kind of mental health issues, such as PTSD, anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. But the reason Beyond Conflict was set up was mental health remains such a rock-bottom priority in humanitarian aid. And it supports children in conflict, but we don't often get to see uh, conflict through children's eyes in this medium. Um, so it's great to come along and be really moved and affected by the art that we see here tonight. He had gone to fight the bad men who were trying to come into our country and steal our thing. Before he left, he took one of my teddies, put it into his pocket and hugged me bye-bye. After he was gone, I cried and asked Mother why he had taken the toy, where he was going, when he would be back. But she just shushed me and put me to bed. <laughs>